you said that uh, you were personally very proud that you were the first European foreign minister to sign a MOU on the Belt and Road Initiative with China in the summer of 2015. So, uh, Mr. Foreign Minister, what made you so proud and what kind of new developments do you foresee in taking shape in the new future? Look, when we have uh, entered office back in 2010, we have understood that uh, the stable way to stay on the ground is having both feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. So therefore, although we are members of uh, Western-oriented uh, integrations and alliances like NATO and the European Union, we have to reach out to the East as well, because we understood that already at that time that, that the Eastern part of the world was developing so quickly. And for us, it was obvious that once upon a time, which came last year, basically, uh, the uh, East and West will be somewhere in an equilibrium. Uh, and, uh, and therefore, we have put a lot of emphasis on building relationships mm -hmm. uh, with China, with Japan, with Korea. So the major um, uh, contributors to global GDP from the East. And Belt and Road Initiative was something which has helped this connectivity between geographically far away areas, right? Mm -hmm. So therefore, I was really honored to sign the agreement as a first European foreign minister. We'll continue to uh, add additional projects to One Belt, One Road. You know that uh, in this framework, we have been reconstructing the railway line between Budapest, uh, connecting us to our southern neighbor, Serbia, with its capital, Belgrade. Mm -hmm. It would not have been possible, at least not in this form, if we had not been part of this Belt and Road cooperation from the very beginning.